Happy World Goth Day, everyone. Hey, everyone. This is Andrew from Prize Box Productions, and welcome back to another Hi, I'm Mary Mary Short. And there have been a few new developments, you know, otherwise I wouldn't be doing this right now. And a lot of them are really, really interesting, because we're seeing some stuff that hasn't happened, at least so far in the series, and there's some new stuff that it's going to definitely have sort of an impact later on, it seems. And there's been a new video that's been uploaded, and it's called Intruder. Now, instead of me doing a reaction to this video, I wanted to do, like, a different style narrative to it, because, um... I didn't want to do this for this video because I already did the reactions to the other ones, and this and I usually usually doing these as shorts now because so it basically saves time for me to do my other projects and everything. So I'm just gonna explain what happens in the video along with some other stuff that I noticed and everything. So let's get down to it. All right. So in the video, it starts off with her saying she's happy that we're friends and everything, and how she's happy to, for us to be there with her. But during this point, the hooded Mary starts sort of uh, taunting her, telling her that we are that we don't really care about her. She's just entertainment, and we actually hate her. And then she pretty much goes on to point out that she prefers the garden, and. I can understand that, because who wouldn't want to have a place where that's completely devoid of monsters who constantly taunt and try to bring you down every couple of minutes, and then, or and also prevent you from sleeping? Now this video is particularly interesting because we see the return of a lot of, uh, a lot of the monsters from previous videos. We see the return of Hooded Mary, we see Mirror Mary also makes a return and is still taunting her for the way she looks, and we also see the return of the Shadow Monster, who's for some reason, way taller than he, than they were the, than they were before. I always find it unusual that it's still around because she, it usually shows up when she's trying when she's like trying to get some sleep, and it's meant there it's meant to be there to prevent her from doing so. Which is why I was saying that some of these monsters these monsters all represent uh, facets of psychological issues. Like Mirror Mary, for example, represents issues with body image. Buddy Mary can represent issues with depression, and the Shadow Monster can represent issues with insomnia. And we see them basically doing entirely everything related to those things throughout this video. We see Hooded Mary trying to bring her down, we see Mirror Mary making fun of her, and we see the Shadow Monster basically stalking her in the darkness. We also get to see the trick she mentioned on Twitter, where, the, where she had the rock and it disappeared. We get to see that, too, and it's somewhat interesting, I guess. Uh, it basically just shows that you can't take things out of the garden, because the garden will eventually just teleport it back. Or maybe it's just an attempt by whatever Silent Hill-like dimension she's in to basically um, isolate her, basically taking away her companion cubes as well, so basically she, only has to, she can only deal with the monsters or talk to us, basically. But the most significant thing about this video is her encounter with the Lady in White. Now, we saw her all the way back in the last video she did, where she mentioned that she could see us now, and we saw her off in the distance. But in this one, we see her up close for the first time. Mary actually approaches her and tries to talk to her. Hey. However, she doesn't... She does respond, but... You can't. We can't understand what she's saying. She basically is muted. We can't hear anything she says in the video at all, and neither can Mary apparently. Who are you? But she does mouth certain words that we can figure out throughout throughout her encounter, and it basically read out like, "I am not your foe. You are not well. You need help. You have to listen to me. You have to get out of here. This place is not good for you." That's basically all I could make out. I'm not even sure if I have it right. I, I'm not even sure if I have it right either, so... I don't really know whether or not she is a threat or not, but in the source code she seems to imply that she does care about Mary and she wants to help her. And for her basically telling her the place is not safe, kind of falls into falls in line with that because in the source code messages she does say the play, she should not try to take everything around her as normal which we do see her sort of do in the video where she, the way she interacts with the all, with all the other monsters 
She almost takes it. She don't, it's almost like she lives like a bunch of crazy roommates now, rather than with a bunch of monsters. Okay, what the fuck? Is this yours? I'm not giving this back. I'm just gonna take it with me. And we also see that the place she's in is probably harmful, considering that near the end of the video, she somehow gets hurt and trips in the garden. And then not long after that, when it cuts back near the end, she starts to, she starts to vomit off camera, and the camera glitches out during that time. So yeah, this place is probably not good for her health. Which sort, which does fall in line with what Lady in White did say in the source code, and in the video itself. But it also has to fall in line with the way that she's not confronting any of her actual issues. Also, more than likely, also. Now, I'm not entirely sure what the Lady in White is supposed to represent. Maybe it represents, I don't know, maybe her desire to be better, or her, um, or a part of herself that, or a part of herself that's more self-aware and knows. That the, how dangerous the situation really is, and wants to, and basically wants to escape for, and basically wants to escape. I mean, that's a possibility. I mean, it's not entirely clear. Maybe you guys probably have a better interpretation of what Lady and White is supposed to represent. Maybe it's her will to fight and to escape. Maybe, like I said, maybe it's her will to fight to escape, and but she's kind of ignoring it to remain complacent because she, because confronting these issues that probably led to this is. Re could probably be very difficult for her. That's probably why she's trying to ignore it and just trying to stay in the garden, where it's basically safe, where she sees it as safer, rather than actually confronting the monsters directly or confronting her issues. But hey, that's that's just my interpretation. But that's pretty much all I got for right now. Um, so I'm just gonna end this here. So be sure to check out my other videos, like Prize Box Productions videos, other channels, Prize Box Gaming, and Prize Box Reacts. Thanks for watching. Stay gentle.